Now to a Channel 3 exclusive. And I started screaming my son's name because I know he was in the room. And I heard the gun sound that I heard was too close. Tonight, a New Haven child's recovering after someone shot into his home. In a Channel 3 exclusive, we're hearing from his mother and her message to the shooter. Eyewitness News learned New Haven police believe this investigation's tied now to the shootings at a large house party in Hamden. Both incidents happened within hours of each other. We find Channel 3 Shante Passmore is live right now from the police station in New Hallville section. Shante. Kevin, tonight we're learning that young boy is expected to be okay. As for the emotional trauma, his family tells me they're still scared. Meanwhile, New Haven police searches for the shooter. I heard the gunshot three times. Then Lillian Topu saw her son. I saw my son come in towards me holding his leg, crying mommy, and he was bleeding. In an exclusive Eyewitness News interview, she tells me she feared her son was dying in her arms. What she didn't know is why the shooter aimed into her home from the outside late Friday night. In this surveillance footage shared by New Haven police, you see a car cruising through a New Hallville neighborhood before slowing down, driving away. It then backs up, and that's when the shooter gets out of the car before running away. The act, cowardly, said the new police chief of New Haven. And I want to say to the people that did this, the cowards that decided to commit this act, that we will expend every single resources we have to find you. At today's news conference, New Haven police revealed there is a connection between this case and another shooting in Hamden. Just hours before someone shot the eight-year-old, these Snapchat videos show Hamden police dispersing hundreds of people from a house party on Choate Avenue. Moments later, someone shot into a crowd, injuring five people. At last check, Hamden leaders shared three people are out of the hospital. Back in New Haven, this mother grapples at how to heal her son emotionally and physically. Tonight, she talks directly to the shooter. Whoever did this to my son or to my wanted to hurt me or my family is not going to get away just like that. New Haven police did not share how its case is related to Hamden's. It also didn't elaborate if it's looking for the same suspect as Hamden police, but did say both police departments are working together, sharing information. Live in New Haven this evening, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.